Hello and welcome back to Pokemon Platinum. In the last part, we, we're not we're not messing around now. We finally reaped and destroyed every Pokemon useless to us. So now we're going to continue the attack on our enemies by heading to Veilstone City this episode. But we'll see what this crazy newspaper guy wants from us first. Oh, a Bronzel. I ain't got one of them yet. Which means we have to go back to Mount Coronet to get one, but we're not doing that. We're taking on the gym leader. We get into the city this episode. I bet you this train would want to battle us because no, no, we we got to skivvy along the enemies. Got to skivvy along, skivvy along. Okay, so a marrow. Because we, we definitely need to capture some Pokemon now. Because I've, because I've just got rid of a load and... I, I, I need to make up for the lost numbers. But once again, totally not my fault. The Pokemon should have got good. They should have got good. I'm not messing around now. I, I, will, I will gladly delete my entire box. I, I don't mind starting a new game with this. And I'd still call it part 41 or something like that. Hello, this is part 41 and we're starting a brand new game. <laughs> It'll be like part 400 before we get to... Now, of course, with this rain, it's going to be perfect for print up. Hey, Krogan, if you got more broken than Assassin's Creed just then, shot fired. To be honest, it's, it's good news for me that Assassin's Creed doing rubbish because it proves that next-gen gaming is rubbish and the more next-gen ne next-gen gaming fails I am more happy but it proves I was right I was right they were wrong Well, that's going to hit me in one. 
Actually, that is a good, that, that much chop, much, I don't know. I shouldn't be surprised at my chops in their revenge, but I just thought it would be like level 30. Because, because that, that was one of the main moves for when I originally played Platinum. All, all the Pokemon which I had in Platinum are like in um, Pokemon X and Y now. Well, as I was saying about, I bet even Nintendo are looking at the Assassin's Creed bug glitch and going, "Oh, this is shit." Because you see, that, that that's the problem between you know what Ubisoft do and what, well, you know, Ubisoft just rush into creating games, whereas you know it takes, you know. It, you know, it takes Nintendo a while to, you know, get games out there because, but they perfect that with the time they have, they perfect the games that they do have. For example, Mario Kart 8, for example, or, you know, the Pokemon games. Pokemon games are a great example for that. But maybe, maybe the objections of um, Pokemon are for, um, you know, Omega Sapphire. I still think we needed to wait at least five more years before we had a remake of Generation 3 because the Game Boy Advance is still quite advanced. If that's the case, then we're not going to see a Diamond and Pearl Platinum remake until. I mean, if there's, a ten, is there, if there's at least a 10 year gap between and how advanced the DS is. I think we'd be seeing it in 20 years, 20 years from today. And the CJK right just has, has spoken, of course. You, but you gotta listen to it because it's a good path, it's righteous path. Basically, if you're not happy with a game which is out, you know, for next gen, what you do is you go back and play an Atari game or, you know, an NES game or a PlayStation 1. It's time that next gen game and learn. It's about time they learn that they're not stupid. I think I need defog to get rid of this black weather. Oh, look who it is! It's Cypher's sister. Hey, you remember the time when he was useful? No, me neither. And apparently it can survive a bubble beam, which must mean it has some good special defense. And he's like, come on, I've got a, pre I've got a water type which knows bubble beam and it's flaming. It sure survives. Come on, my bubble beam would have been stronger than fire blast. Or... Oh, but by the way, we've got a new move for um, 
scrim pluck and it's one of the best moves to give it. It's called Brine. And basically what it does is if the Pokemon has health, you know, has half health, it does extra wide damage. You know what, we're going to give Primplop the rest of this, um, you know, the rest of the experience points because, who knows, we might get an Empoleon before. But we've got a double battle here, and I know they've got a Gyarados and a, no, Monk Ferno and, oh, yes, I think, no, Monk Ferno and, um, it's either Gyarados or, yeah, but, um, you know what, we'll give this to Kadabra. That casino music. They're gambling the night away. In the last week of Vegas. So they know a crime's happening. So, so as, as the money grabbing patrol. Or the craps team for sure. Oh, I tell you, one of my favourite like, trainer, you know, question mark trainer suits is they seem I can do this half where it goes. <laughs> I wonder how that sounds. Oh, so these guys ain't got Luxio and oh yeah, I'm, I'm thinking of platinum diamond diamond and pearl. See, that's the problem. I never played diamond and pearl. I mean, I never. I, I play Darwin and Pearl more, mainly because... At least this fight's going to be easy. Two one-hit KOs. But we finally made it to Veilstone City. And I think we might have to take on Team Galactic here. But we also take on the gym leader. Because they basically were going to have to go to Veilstone City twice. But once for, um, I think for this, for, for this, where we got, you know, three badges, and the other one when we, when we take on, you know, when we take on, we have to go inside, go further into the base, you know, after we get the six badge. Yeah, yeah, I think, you know, either the six or seven badge, because, we don't we don't take on Palkia giving two we don't take on giving two the straight line, we have to get a seventh badge for now. Oh wow, these trains are improved, haven't they? And I should Oh hello, I survived. Yes. Yeah. Nicely done. Hey, there's Drifling. And Lickitung. I think 